Hello, this is a tutorial using email on Outlook. Um, I'm going to show you three things, one of which is to view um, the meeting rooms and how you can book those in the library and such like, uh, and then to find pupil emails and to create distribution lists um, of your own that you can use in the future. So first of all, let's do the um, uh, meeting rooms. So you click on this little folder here, you might have folders listed down here. Um, and this probably will be collapsed when you come to it. I'll say all public folders. You click on that. Uh, resource booking is here. Click on that to open it up. And if you want to go and book Eaton, you go and see. You can change what it looks like. So you can see, there you go, lots and lots of bookings. Unfortunately, you cannot um, make a booking. New meeting request. No. So, um, but you can see when other people have the rooms booked. So it makes it much easier for you to check whether they're available or not and reduces the amount of email tennis that you have to play with um, whomever's in charge of booking these events. So even if you click, click to add an event, nothing happens, you see. Um, so somebody else has to put those in for you, but at least you can see um, when all the different rooms are uh, um, available, etc. And in that list includes the senior school library. So should you wish to book a library appointment, um, I imagine that's a pretty good way to do it. Uh, Sports Hall um, and the different meeting rooms, Marchwood um, and has the junior school hall, which probably shouldn't be in there. Um, okay, so that's how to do that. Next up um, is email. So if I want to send a new email um, to a student, I'm going to do it like this. So you can either click on the address book here or just click on two. Um, so I click on two and you can see here I've got lots and lots of um, emails, emails but if you go to all contacts in the address list you get every single person in the school so say I want to email Adam Petreski um, I'd type in Adam and all the Adams come down here um, and there he is I've double click his name and he goes into the two box um, and if I wanted to put Adam Goodwin in then I could put him in the copy box by clicking CC here click on OK and the email is now being um, written. Easy. So that's that. Um, and the last thing I'm going to show you in this is how to create a distribution list which are now called groups. So you have to click on contacts here and then a new contact group at the top left here. So the new contract group, so I'm going to call this a demo class. Say you want to create one for your students, um, for a sixth form class, whatever. So you have a, uh, something that you can use. And then you create from Outlook contacts, address book, email contacts, so it's address book. And you get the same list coming again. So in this time, I will look for Adam again um, and um, double click him. And then I will look for James um, and uh, where is he? There he is etc etc so I click on OK and now this is a, um, a group so I can save and close and if I go back to mail um, and do new email I can hopefully go to that type in start in typing demo class and there it is and it will be sent to both of those pupils but all the pupils that I put in there that's it three easy things to do with Outlook um, which you might find really useful